Hi everyone, welcome to your weekly oracle card reading. This week I'm going to use my dude deck, Earth's Magic Oracle Cards by Stephen D. Farmer. And I'll go ahead and shuffle the cards. Okay. So, first card is Iceberg Submerged. So, this card represents hidden potential and undiscovered talents and gifts that you may have and also things that are hidden from yourself even that you may not even realize. So I think what this card wants you to do is to try to dig deeper into yourself and try to discover what is under the surface of who you are and bring that undiscovered potential into your life and into the light so that you can incorporate more of who you are into your everyday life. Milky Way Perspective Looking at your life from a wider perspective, a further away perspective can be beneficial, a bigger picture perspective can be beneficial, especially when you're getting caught up into the details or into the little things in life and making the little things into bigger things than they really need to be. So stepping back from those things that you can get caught up in is always important. And one of the greatest ways to really have that wonderful perspective is to actually look at the night sky and just see all those billions of stars out there that are, you know, all, and all this undiscovered potential also and realizing that the things that are here on earth are just a small piece of the puzzle and that there's so much greater possibilities out there and that we don't have to get caught up into the little things in our lives that are not really that big of a deal in the larger scheme of theme, things. And, and actually looking at life from this larger perspective can invite more possibility into your life and just more objectivity about life. And really it can help you just take things in stride and, and less, uh, you know, and you get caught, less caught up into the, the silly things. <laughs> autumnal, or autumnal equinox, release. <sighs> so, autumn is the time when all the leaves are falling off the trees, representing letting go of basically the past and also what no longer is necessary for winter. So this is really a time for letting go of those things that were useful for the summer and for, you know, your life uh, previously, but are no longer necessary. They're, yeah, so just releasing any stress, any garbage, any you know, even like going through your closet would be a good idea and doing some, you know, fall cleaning. <laughs> so, yeah, and just maybe even going out in nature and just kind of releasing stress that way and uh, connecting with the seasons, really uh, tuning into the seasons that are happening around you. 
So, yeah, and tuning into the cycles of the Earth. Okay. Love. And compassion. Showing compassion for others is a really good way to show your love for others. And just uh, even having a, you know, a smile for others that you come across can show the love you have within you. And it doesn't have to be you know, romantic love, it just can be, you know, a recognition of each other, a recognition of what really lies within everything. And, and maybe even lending a helping hand to people when you know that someone needs help. Just giving what you can give without the sense of obligation or guilt. And yeah, it can be just as small as a smile or, a, you know, just a recognition. Fog. Veiled. So, I also, I feel like this card is also kind of talking about something that you're hiding from yourself and that you'll soon shed light on and yeah basically it could be a hidden emotion or hidden potential of some sort that you haven't tapped into and really clearing away that fog is best done by meditating within yourself and finding alone time in your own little space and just tuning into yourself and your emotions can help you lift that veil and shed light on whatever it is that you're hiding from yourself whether it's just a potential that you haven't considered but that you really would resonate with or possibly just an emotion or other hidden aspects of yourself that you just haven't looked at. So, yeah, getting away into nature is a good way to kind of uh, rejuvenate yourself and also find that alone time that you might need to basically unveil whatever it is that you have veiled. So, Forest with breath is the subtitle. Forests really contain so much life and fresh air, of course, and tuning into that life of the forest is so enlivening and in, and rejuvenating and just necessary. <laughs> so I definitely think this reading is trying to get us to go out into nature and uh, rejuvenate ourselves and also definitely tune into yourself and try to, well maybe don't try so hard but um, just allow whatever is hidden to kind of come up into your awareness and make sure to breathe when you are doing this because sometimes it can get a little heavy and breath helps you to release that and to help you um, lighten whatever is going on all right have a great week you guys thank you for watching and liking and subscribing and commenting i really appreciate it and i'll talk to you next week